Hi there everyone on YouTube. This is Jeff from jeffmobile.com and I'm back today with a technology tip. I'm not sure if you use a Macintosh with a program called Logic, Logic Pro or Logic Studio, I can't remember what it's called exactly, but it's a Logic. It's a Apple software for editing and creating music and sound, a very powerful tool. Now I was using a version of this before I decided to buy Cubase and I wanted to share a very important tip I learned with Logic regarding a problem I was having with MIDI playback. So as you know, MIDI is a tool that lets you record notes on an instrument such as the keyboard and play those notes back through the keyboard. Here's the symptom I was experiencing. When I recorded a MIDI track with my keyboard, as soon as I recorded it, I was able to play it back through my keyboard. I connected the MIDI correctly to the keyboard. After recording it through MIDI, I was able to re replay that MIDI through the keyboard. It was working fine. But after I saved the project and reopened it, I played the MIDI track. The MIDI track was still showed up in the timeline. I played it and the MIDI did not play through the keyboard. It was like, for some reason, no sound was coming out of the keyboard. However, if I played the keyboard and recorded a fresh track, it was still working, like I could still play and record music I recorded currently, but the music that I saved previously was no longer playing properly. So all the old MIDI recordings I did, I was really worried that I wasn't able to recover them, to play them again, and make changes to them. There's a little trick I noticed. If you look on the timeline, there's like a green bar that represents a recording of a MIDI file. If you look in the left, top left corner of that or I guess it'd be that side for you, the top left corner of that green bar, there's a little circle. And that circle was a red circle. And I'm saying, why is this circle red? It's a perfectly good MIDI recording. If you go in the, the piano roll, you'll notice that the notes are still there correctly. You can even click on the notes and they play back through the keyboard. But when you press play, they don't come out. And I realized that what was happening was that MIDI recording was muted. And it wasn't muted in terms of the track. To mute something means it makes it silent. And muting in Logic, it seems like there's two different ways of muting something. You can mute the whole track, or if you select that MIDI recording so it selects the green bar and hit the M key, it toggles that MIDI performance muted or unmuted. So for me, all I had to do to get my MIDI to play back again was to select that green bar that represents the, the, the MIDI recording in the timeline and because it was a red circle, I hit the M key on the keyboard, it turned it into a green circle and it let me play it back properly. It took off the mute, it took off the mute on that MIDI track. So I'm not sure, this, there's many reasons why your MIDI may not play, but this seems like such an obvious sort of problem with Logic, that older version, it was Logic 8 or Logic 7, a really old version of it, and I've seen many people on online forums having the exact same problem, and no one so far I came across has discovered this solution, so if you have this problem with Logic, you can't get your MIDI to play, try this first, hit the, hit the track and hit, select the little bit of MIDI and hit the M key and see if that red circle in the top left corner turns into a green circle. I hope this works for you. I am also pretty knowledgeable about MIDI and stuff, so if you have any questions why you can't get your MIDI to play back, please leave a detailed description of your problem, what you've tried already, what kind of cables you're using, what kind of keyboard, what kind of drivers, all that kind of stuff, and let me know, and I may be able to give you some tips. And uh, with Logic, it's a great software, although it's getting kind of old nowadays. I think I'm going to be switching over to Cubase really soon when I get enough money to buy a new uh, music system. But I uh, hope this helps anyone out there. If you have the same problem, please let me know if this helped you, and I look forward to hearing your music that you make, beautiful music that you make with Logic on your Macintosh. Okay, thanks a lot. My name is Jeff Peters. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada, and I have my website, jeffmobile.com, Jeff with a G. If you'd like to follow what I'm doing on YouTube, I post lots of music videos and jokes and food videos and other vlogs and other, other, other kinds of things. So please feel free to click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, I'll catch you around later, and uh, please let me know your comments. Have a great day, and bye-bye uh, for now. Bye.